So right here, I'm going to explain the code. Um, I'm going to start explaining the code for you. So this is the main dot dot, and the main dot dot we don't really have much. Let me open the app. I screenshot the splash screen for you. Okay. So this is the splash screen you saw. Okay, now that is how the splash screen looks. It's a very simple design for the splash screen. It's not that hard. So we have the main dot dot, and you can see the main function. We have the run app inside the main function. You do. So the run app now runs my app function. So my app function is a state is a stateless widget, and you see in the stateless widget is going to extend it's going to extend stateless widget. You're going to override the build method, and the build method you have the home to be the splash. You see, so the first screen, the build method that gives to you is the splash screen. That is this screen you see right here. Then I have to do the debug show check the banner is false. And that is it for the main dot that you see is that simple so i'm going to go and explain more oh, let me see okay so that is the splash screen there and the main dot that is also a stateless widget the splash screen is also a stateless widget and you see the splash there extends the stateless widget so that is it and there as the stateless widget, I'm gonna override the build method. So it's at the stateless widget, you're gonna override the build method, you see. That is the build method there. And the build method contains a material app. Okay, and uh, you have the scaffold as the home to the material app, and then the body of the scaffold is a splash body. So you see the body of the scaffold is a splash body. So I also have a class splash body. Splash body is actually a class. I have a class called splash body. So splash body extends a stateful widget. And you know a stateful widget or oh, it actually helps you monitor the state. You know, it's very sensitive to the state of the widget. So you have to override the uh, create method. So you override the create state. And the create state will return to you. Uh, it will return a, it will return a, spa, a splash state so that splash state another class you have there you see down here we have the splash state which extends a state and you pass in the splash body you pass in the splash body so you can pass in the splash body that's the splash body we have up there so now uh, what do we do here is that scrolling down scrolling down 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 okay you have a logic class you know i created this class a logic class that will help you when using the timer for the splash screen we have the timer execution yes i'm going to the logic class now and in the logic class you see we have the build context and a lot of things here though so there's the build context we pass in the context you see the logic here and all of that so the logic text in the build context so and the future here is what is being returned because you're gonna wait for some seconds you're gonna tell the screen after five seconds after ten seconds you do that you go to the next screen this way we do we tell the screen to wait for some seconds here so we're saying wait for some seconds before moving to the next screen that's what this function does here so actually passing the number of seconds here as integer you can see five seconds wait for two seconds you pass it here as a named parameter and the function is executed in the asynchronous background so the timer here we have the duration for using the duration class the duration for the timer and you say timer you pass in the duration so the timer here i initialize it with the duration and then you tell it the function to execute so using this time the duration is being is used after that time uh, after the number of times seconds you want it to wait it execute what you see in the navigator push replacement so it actually takes you to the next screen that is the soccer app screen so this is how the timer works this is where the logic is executed you see the logic for the timer is executed in this class so the timer should wait for some seconds take some name parameters as integer and you see that 
So we call the class the logic class here. Then if you're going down, you're going to see the check timer, also another asynchronous function. What the check timer does is execute the function that we saw inside the logic class, the wait second, and it passes in a parameter, you see. This is the function wait second, passing the parameter. So that is what uh, the check timer does. And you see, going down, we have the build method. So this is now where we design the UI and execute a lot of logic here. So you see, so inside the build method, we have the logic, we initialize it, we pass the context, and we call the check timer method we saw here. Then going down, we have the container, and the color is blue. The width is the size of the screen, and the height is the size of the screen. Then center, we have a text in the center of the container. So the text now, the font family, the font size, the color, and the weight is bold. So that is it for the splash screen. And see, it's so simple, you know, it's an, it's an easy splash screen I made. So you can follow up, you can edit it, you can edit the build method to uh, determine the looks of your splash screen. It's all up to you. So now here we're passing the soccer app. So this is the screen, the splash screen will take you to. So you navigate to the screen after five seconds, you come to the soccer app screen. So let me see, this is the splash screen. After one, two, three, four, five seconds, it goes to the uh, soccer app screen. Then it fetches the data, you know, so that is it. So this is, I'm going to the screen that actually displays the data from the API. So I think I'm gonna explain this for you to make sure you understand it though. Um, so stay tuned, just follow up. So the soccer app actually extends a stateful widget screen here the soccer app screen extends a stateful widget so you see this is the stateful widget and then it has a constructor but now we also have let me close all of this so you see the classes here okay so now uh, in the build method let's see what do we have here uh, And go down okay this everything you see a mix of the screen you see on the on the ui it's not that complicated you know all we have here first of all the build method we have a scaffold and we have a background color and there's a primary color i didn't uh, i didn't even show you my color class you know i made a class my color class let me look for it see in colors of that you're gonna see all my colors so normally I store all my colors in one folder so that I can just easily edit it, I can easily come back to it. So we check here, you see my color class and in my color class you can see all the colors you can make it. So actually it's good you just put everything in one place. Uh, that's just nice of it. I feel I feel the code is more arranged that way, you know. So all my colors are here. So in the scaffold we have the background color we have the app bar so remember let me go back again we have the soccer app that is the first class then we also have we have the background color this is where it stopped actually let me continue from here so you have the app bar you see the app bar inside the scaffold you have an app bar widget you see so the app bar the scaffold has a property you call app bar then you can put your app bar there, you can decorate your app bar the way you want it to be. So the app bar tool still has a primary color, the same color with the scaffold. So if you check on the UI, we have the elevation there of 0.0. .0. We are not giving it any elevation. We are not giving the app bar any elevation. It's going to be zero. So we have a text as the title. The text is soccer board. You can look at the screen that you see on the app bar on top of the screen. We have a text, the soccer board, which is actually on the app bar. We gave it a text style. We gave it the color of black and the font family too, we gave it. So the weight is bold and you know, it's just a simple app bar actually, you know, that's what we used inside the scaffold. So you can see there the app bar on top of the screen. 
just a normal hour bar with a text widget in it and a background color of primary elevation zero that's what you've seen up here if you look at it that is my hour bar inside the scaffold so the center title is true actually it's gonna be true here the center title is true I was putting the text at the center you see the text now inside the center so all of this is inside the build method of the soccer app state it's inside the scaffold we have all of that so now the body is a future builder the body of the container of the of the uh, scaffold is a future builder because a function is going to return a result in the future time you see so Everything you see there, the container is being displayed after a certain result is gotten from the future builder. So we actually wait for it to fetch the data from the API, then we return the result using the future builder. So when the result is returned, we now show it on the UI. So the future builder has a property called future. The future is actually, we're passing a function there. I created a class we call this class the football service. So the future builder, future builder has a, uh, a property called feature. We pass a function to this feature. So the function we pass in here is from the football service. So the football service, we get a function, get list to the matches. I'm going to go to the football service now. So the football service is where we communicate with the API. You can see we have a football service class. We have the API URL in here. And then we have the function that, uh, goes through the api and gets the information so that is uh we have the football service here and we're calling on a function the get list today matches so this actually takes in the year the month and the day of the match that you want to get by default i assigned a, a value to each of these parameters so if you go to get list today matches you're gonna see that uh, it takes in three parameters and it is an asynchronous function and it returns a list of games so i'm going to explain this hope you know what an asynchronous function is this is an asynchronous function so it takes in the parameters and it supplies the parameter to the api url so you see it supplies the parameters to the api url so the url text the url is this is the url it actually takes the year it takes the month and it also takes the day so it takes three parameters then at the end of it it will return a json data for you we're going to use that json data this actually handles the json data from down there so i'll explain this later on in the video but you see now the future the future builder has a property called the future and we pass a function to the future so that function is actually going to return the future data so we actually use the builder to communicate with the result of the future so using the snapshots here the snapshot we're gonna check if the snapshot has data if it actually has a data we're gonna return a widget which is the page body or if it does not have a data we're gonna return um, another widget so that's what you see here so i'm gonna show you how the future builder works now you see it's loading the app is loading now and the future builder actually returns another widget when it fetches the data so if the data is actually if the snapshot has a value the future builder is going to return a widget or else if there is no value in the snapshot if it has no data it will return another widget with this that's going to write i'm going to write a random value right now you see currently the snapshot does not have any data so it will return just a center widget with a button and to tell you no data currently so you see when there is no data it keeps on uh, actually rotating so that is how my future builder works so you see the center widget now the center widget has a child the column the main axis alignment the center and it has some children in it so the first child you see here is a container it has a button so if you actually press this button to take you to the settings screen this is the button here so the container though let's go back 
It has my button as a child. So if you look at it, this is the container. It has a button here, click to select time. So that is the button you see there, click to select time. So the button color is blue. That the color you see is blue. And when you press the button, this navigator on press of the button, it takes you to the settings screen. So when you click this button, there's another screen called the settings screen. The text color for the button is white. This is the settings screen. When you click the button, it brings you to this screen. The text color for the button is white. And at the center of the button, we have a circular progress indicator. So we have this widget beneath the container. We have an indicator. You see that indicator that turns, that is it, and we have no data currently. So that is just it. So you see there, they have the indicator that's rotating, and we have this. So currently, there's data, though, this data. So if there is data, it will return for you. It will return the page body. Let's close this. So if there is data, it will return this page body for you. And it will pass in the data. So you can call the snapshot the data. It will pass it to the page body. That is, this is the page body you see here. So if the snapshot has data, it comes in here. So we're going to go to the page body now. So in the page body, so in the page body, uh, we have this. We, we actually returns is a widget. It returns a widget. The function here, it takes in the list of games, which is which is returned by the snapshot. So you see, it actually takes in a list of games, which is returned by the snapshot. So the snapshot data is actually a list of games, null, and you know, passing the context. So we're gonna stop here. I think we stop here. So I'll see you guys in the next video of uh, this series. Just subscribe. Thank you.